What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update. I know you guys could probably already tell it is going down. Just by that title alone, guys, definitely gonna wanna check this one out. So we got that Fox News The Five host, Harold Ford Jr. back at it again, guys. He's losing control. His Trump derangement syndrome's got him totally out of line in this newest segment, but good thing we've got Judge Ning to put him back into his place, guys. I'm excited to get into this one, so we're not straight into it. So make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Before we even get into it, you guys, hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button for your boy. And without further ado, let's jump straight into it, folks. Check this one out. One of the things that they forget, Judge, or that is missing in the context, is that why did we get to this point where you had have 70% of Americans saying they are for mass deportations. It's because of policy consequences from the last four years. And now people are like, let's do this and get it done. Let's do it and get it done. And the amazing thing is, you know, Dana, the American people are very charitable, charitable mm -hmm. people. They are loving people. It takes a lot for them to get to this yeah. point. And you can thank the Biden-Harris administration. Uh, by the, the, the two-year-old that we just saw mm -hmm. breaks my heart. She is lost, she's abandoned, she's alone. She's been trafficked, uh, she's been endangered, abused, and neglected. And we've got 320,000 kids like this who are lost thanks to the Biden-Harris administration because wow. they look the other way. And if they didn't approve of this, they're be someone looking for them, but no one's going to start looking for them until Donald Trump comes into office. And where are the tears for this little girl? I teared up. I'm sure most mothers teared up when they saw this two-year-old. She says, I'm two mm -hmm. in, in, in Spanish. I mean, the, they had tears for kids in cages, allegedly, you know, through the Flores decision. At least we know where the kids were. At least we knew that they were safe. They had to be separated from their parents temporarily. But here's the bottom line. I don't know what this administration has done with these children. They have been allowed to be picked up by a qualified sponsor. You know what a qualified sponsor is? It's a person 18 years of age who has the income that he can afford to take care of the child. They're not taking DNA. These kids are being trafficked. They're being abused. And they're being abused and trafficked as a result of the Biden-Harris administration. There are no tears for them. And in the end, what we've got is Kamala, who ran, and that's why she lost. She was against against deportation and the Dems, they don't want to talk about these kids. They'll talk about anything but these kids. And this bozo from Denver, you don't even know your history. You don't even know what Tiananmen Square is about. Wow, guys, Judge Ning with a very emotional stance. And I mean, I'm getting right behind her on this one. This was just simply sad to see, you know, when you finally pull that cover back, what they've been hiding, the Biden-Harris administration, you know, the one that Kamala Harris kept saying, you know, she was appointed border czar, um, wouldn't even visit the southern border. This is what's going on down there, guys. You see that two-year-old down there, uh, unaccompanied, came across the border by themselves. Like, that's absolutely insane to me. Um, what else are we to think? You know, these are the same folks that were against deportation, a mass deportation. But when you go and look at it, um, what they've been turning a blind eye to, you see that there's, you know, kids involved, 60, un like 60 unaccompanied kids just right there. No, there's tons of kids lost across this nation. We need to draw the line somewhere. This is sad, man. Are the Democrats going to find mm. their footing on this issue, Harold? I hope so. Uh, first of all, good to be back with everybody. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I'd say a couple of things. First, to both uh, the mayor of Denver, whom I don't know, uh, and the new uh, designated board czar, they both sound like they're auditioning for a Clint Eastwood movie. They both need to tone the rhetoric down and perhaps get on a phone call together because they think they probably agree more than they disagree. Two, I, I agree with the judge that the heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking to watch that, that child, uh, the two-year-old there, and there's a lot of blame to go around. One of the things that my party, to get to your question, Dana, needs to recognize is that there's not an issue other than inflation that working class Americans that resonates more with them, that they understand better as a working class issue than the border. Uh, one of the reasons the numbers are rising for number, the number of Americans and the cross section of Americans, Democrat, Republican alike, who are in favor of some sort of deportations, 
uh, is because there are many Americans, a friend of mine told me yesterday, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to afford life, and I read that my tax dollars are supporting illegal immigrants coming to our country. I have sympathy exactly. and I have, I'm compassionate, but I can't understand why we're allowing this to happen. That's not a mean-spirited sentiment. That's a sentiment I believe shared by a lot of Americans who want some answers. Now, I don't know all of the answers to this, and I know at some point we're gonna to get to talking about this, but like, for, for instance, that two-year-old two -year child what do you do there? And I'm not saying you want to do anything in compassionate judge right, that I do or that Brian or Jesse and certainly not DP. What do you do here is not even the question. I feel like this one is a, a total no brainer. Donald Trump campaigned on one of the 2024 election in a landslide based off of sealing and shutting down our border. Um, we seal our border up. Future cases like this, the cartels won't be able to bring in and smuggle, um, you know, drugs and children in like this is crazy. You want to do anything in compassionate judge right, that I do or that Brian or Jesse and certainly not DP. But I don't know what the answers are to a lot. There have to be answers. The deportation is one part of it. But what do we do here at the border with these kids? I know President Trump has thought long and hard about it. I hope his team tones down the rhetoric a little bit and gets to dealing with what the, I'm part of that 71 percent that wants to see those who should not be in this country who are breaking crimes. I want them returned to their home countries. That's what I want the conversation to mature to. How do we begin to develop these smart and decisive answers to this compelling and awful problem? And Tom mm. Holman knows the job, knows what needs to be done, he knows the law, and he's basically gonna hit the ground running. Here's what you do, Harold. You take a migrant kid and you make all of them just kids. If you dismantle the cartels, these migrant kids don't crush the border. And instead, they tried to make the cartels rich. I don't know what their game plan was. And then they're even profiting off of these migrant kids. This is Michelle Obama's former policy director, Vignara, ha, 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 I can't pronounce her last name, I'm sorry. <laughs> but she had this small little ditty not-for-profit, only a couple mil. All of a sudden, this border broke wide open, and Joe Biden just gave her $180 million. That's sick. She tripled her operating income, and she doubled her salary. Now she's making half a million dollars a year. To do what? To do what? To just be a daycare for migrant kids while the traffickers come in and seize these little poor kids? It's disgusting. Now, this Denver guy is ridiculous. Uh, he, he's probably jealous of the mugshot from Trump because everybody wants one now. But the difference is Trump, they tried to put him in jail because he was protecting the American people. This guy wants to go to jail to protect foreigners. That's not how this works. Donald Trump is going to treat Denver like a woman. He's going to protect Denver, whether they like it or not, Dana. And you know Denver better than anybody. They, they have seen an explosion in homicide, carjacking over the last decade. The budget's been crazy because of all of these migrants that Joe deposited there. And now the migrants have a list of demands that they've issued to the Denver mayor. Migrants will cook their own food with fresh, culturally appropriate ingredients provided by the city mm -hmm. instead of pre-made meals. They wow. want showers with unlimited time mm. they all the how are these folks making demands they're here illegally see this is where these folks like this denver mayor get off and they got this whole thing wrong and exactly why donald trump is running the campaign he is you know mass deport because how did they get off making demands here illegally it just doesn't make sense fresh culturally appropriate ingredients provided by the city mm -hmm. instead of pre-made meals they wow. want showers with unlimited time. They also, if they're kicked out, they need three warnings, a verbal, written, and final warning. Mm -hmm. So they're just no using shot. this guy and they're walking all over him and he's a joke and he's gonna find out pretty soon who the people side with. Yo, there we have it, guys. I'm not sure what is going through that mayor of Denver's head, but to let it get this far where you've got illegal migrants now making demands. I mean, this is reminding me to the situation that's literally in their state, Aurora, Colorado, where they were taking over, making demands, taking over entire apartments complex what was that venezuelan gangs now we got the mayor of denver saying that he's vowing to go against donald trump um, from day one on his mass deportation no one's getting deported from denver i mean come on that's just asking for trouble it sounds like this mayor of denver better tread lightly because he's on a, a very dangerous path um, he could definitely be getting a mugshot here soon. And for all the wrong reasons, guys, definitely hop in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy more content like this, catch you guys on the next one. We got it.